of everything that exists on the Earth, the most improbable and the most intriguing phenomenon is human being. Seven billion humans today living on Earth. We are forming a magnificent piece, a masterpiece of my own life. And all of them together form a masterpiece of humanity. There has been a long genetic river that has flown on the earth. What is its nature? What is its purpose? What has been our destiny? Where do we come from? Do we know everything that happened with us? Maybe there were some other reasons of our existence. Maybe we came from other stars. We are going to explore everything that this magnificent genetic river has done and discover the meaning of us humans on Earth. If we for a moment could stop our daily life and look around at the faces that we are so used, so accustomed, we would discover that actually we have every one of the faces that surround us are different. It is different as much as we can find them on the streets, in the restaurants, in railroad stations, all over the place. And if we can take ourselves out a little bit of the traditional living of customs that we are used to and be in place like this maybe, then we would realize there are six billion people on the earth that are actually living and expressing the human nature, expressing the human consciousness. Each one of them is carrying what humanity is all about. And now we are beginning to wonder, what is my great genetic river that has flown before me? When we are talking about inheritance, there is a tradition and belief to think that it is the blood that transfers the characteristics from generation to generation. He has my blood, she has grandfather's blood. It is not the blood that transfers the inheritance, it's the DNA. The blood does not have the capacity to do it. We know biologically that we are a vertebrate that has red blood cells without the nucleus that carries DNA. It is a DNA that has that particular task, the molecule that transfers the characteristics from generation to generation. 